Hey everybody, this is Valerie Kenyon with the customer success team here at Tops. But just as a little introduction here, we're gonna be covering um, tracking renters in Tops One, um, as well as some different types of reports you can pull on top um, on the renters within Tops One. Okay, so we're, here's our agenda for today. We're gonna talk about the advantages of tracking renters in Tops One, how to add a renter to your existing property, um, how to run the standard renter report, how to run a custom renter reports um, that can filter by lease date, and then how to turn on your renter flag for individual properties, and then how to turn on um, a renter flag in the mass edit so you could edit multiple properties at once. And again, I encourage you all to follow along when we get to the demonstrations um, within your normal community or the sample community, whichever you prefer. All right, some advantages of tracking renters are one, you'll know which properties are rent renter occupied. Um, two, you have a quick view with your renter flag when you get to your property page. And three, you can use custom reporting to track your renters by the lease dates. All right, so first is to add a new renter. And this is for adding a new renter um, to your existing properties. So you'll do so by going to portfolio and then owners. Next, you go to actions, add renter. All right, and then you'll see your add renter information. You can type in your property um, name here. This is where you'll search for the property address. Be sure you're on the correct owner type as renter. Add your name, phone number, email address, any information you do have, an alternate address if you happen to have that for your renter as well. And then lease info. This You may not, may not have this for your renters, but if you do, it is important that you add this here. Okay. So quickly, we'll just um, go ahead and I'll show you the steps here in TOPS 1. All right, so we're gonna to go to portfolio and well, actually let's make sure we're in the right community first. Say I'm working in this one. And if you don't wanna um, put any data in your actual communities, this is a good time to use your sample community to practice. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on owners, actions, add renter. Alrighty, so I already have a property um, that I'm going to add a renter to. And this is for 2136 Hawk Lane uh, Drive. Double check your an owner type renter. Add your renter's name here. Oh. And then if you have a phone number, and an email. All right. Now, if you have the lease info, like I said before, it's important to add this here for your custom reporting um, so you can pull your um, active and expired leases. Um, so for here, I'm going to put their lease date, start and end. Okay and then go ahead and save. Perfect, and then so if I go to the property um, page here, you'll now see in the contacts that we have Lucille Bluth as a renter on um, this property page. Okie dokes. So now we're gonna move on to um, the standard report for your rental properties. So your standard report is something that already exists in TOPS, and this is gonna show your owner name, address, count, lot number, phone number, and email. Um, this report will not include any lease information, but it is a good report to run if you just need a, a list of all of the renters present and past. Um, maybe so you could add the lease dates to those renters and turn the renter flags on and off. 
So to do so, you'll go to your reports and then standard reports. Um, and then under your portfolios, you the portfolio reports, you have owner summary. Okay, and then you have your report parameters. Very simple here, there's just the sort option, select your owner type and apply. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, run that report. So again, I'm in the, my selected community palette down here. Oh, I'm sorry, let me, sh there we go. Okay, so I'm in a palette down here and go to my reports, standard reports. Here we have owner summary. Okay, I'm gonna keep this as my sorting feature or option here and then go ahead and select renter under owner type and click apply. Okay, so now I'll see my list of renters, including the one I just added for this community. And again, it's just gonna show you some basic information, not including the lease state or any type of custom fields you might have added to the renter pages. So uh, next we're gonna talk through the custom renter reports. Um, and these are great to run if you wanna um, get a quick view of who are, you have as active renters or expired leases as well. So you're gonna create this report under your reports and custom. And then you have your portfolio reports and you'll add a community um, as a community specific report. So just so you know, these are community specific and we'll get into that just a bit on the next page as well. Okay, so um, here you have your custom report parameters. You'll select your report name, your display name. Um, I suggest you're including your community abbreviation so you know which report um, which community this report is for. Um, you have your report description. And then you have your available and selected parameters. So to choose which ones that you'd like to include on your report, you just simply highlight and click the arrow to move it over to your selected box. Or from the selected box, you can highlight to move it back to the available. Okay, and then also on this page, you have your agent type, which is like owner type. Um, from here, you'll select renter. And then the next um, area is your conditions. This is important um, to note what your conditions should be here. So if you want to generate a report with your active um, leases, your condition will be your lease end greater than or equal to today's date. So that will show any lease end that is from today on. And then expired lease, the lease end is anything less than today's date. Okay, so we'll go ahead and show you. All right. Go ahead down to your reports again and to custom. All right, so I um, created this active lease report already. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go into this one to show you what the parameters are. Um, so what you'll do as a new report is go ahead and click on the plus button there. And I'm gonna click on my edit report just so I can show you the parameters. So for Pallet Town, I have my active lease, PLT active lease is the name and display name of my report. Um, the report display name is what shows on the report. So if you want this to be, um, you know, the full community name, that's fine. Report description goes here. Okay, now here are the um, parameters I've selected. I have owner name, property address, account number, lot number, owner type, email, and lease start and end date. So I would say the most important that you'd like to select here are the lease start and end, as well as the property address owner name. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and select renter from the agent type. And here's my condition. So I'm gonna make sure my lease end date is greater than or equal to today because I'm checking for any active leases. So they have to expire um, today or forward. 
go ahead and save that and apply. Okay, so it looks like I have three active leases down here. Um, it shows you the property address. All of those parameters that we selected above are included in the report right here. Okay, so finally, we're going to go over how to turn on the rental flag. Um, so this is generally going to be used um, just so you have a quick view of which properties have renters, active renters is how I would choose to use it. Um, so <clears throat> I would suggest also uh, using those standard and custom rental reports as we just learned how to make um, to figure out which properties should have the rental flags turned on and off. So to turn it on or off for an individual property, you'll go to your property page, actions, edit property. From there, you'll toggle on your rental property, um, the toggle there on the bottom right. And then you can also do this for um, more than one property at once in your mass edit feature. So if you go to your portfolio properties, um, and then actions edit all, you'll find your mass edit button there. Um, and this is great if you have those lease reports that we've made and it gives you a whole long list of um, owners that you need to turn the flag on or off for, this is a quick way to do so. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use one of those reports to show you how we'll turn the flags on and off. Okay, so there's two options here. You can go ahead and export this um, report and save it so you can look at it again. I'm simply just going to keep it open and open a new tab um, to get to these addresses. So the first uh, renter that I wanna turn the renter flag on is for maybe Funke. So I'm gonna go to 2122 Hawk Lane Drive you can just search that in your global search to take you right to it. Okay. So I'm on the property page. I see the address. The rental flag is not on, but I can double check that this is a renter. I can see down here I have maybe as a renter. Knowing now that it's an active rental, the lease is still active, I'm going to edit the property. Turn on the rental property and save. So this is quick view. I'm on the property page later on and I don't have to check. By, I don't have to drill down into that renter. I already know because I turned this flag on that this is an active rental that's at this property. Okay. So next I'll show you um, how to do this in the mass edit. So you'll go to your properties. Actions, edit all. All right. I'm gonna go ahead, oops. Let's turn this back to view and we're gonna filter this, okay. So you can turn some of these off if you'd like to. I don't need to know the city, state, or zip code for this purpose. So I'm gonna turn those off and look down here for rental. So there's my rental flag and edit. Okay, so before I start changing these toggles, I'm gonna to go back to that active renter report I have and see which ones need to be edited. So I can already tell from looking right here that these few that are um, toggled on are not renters. We have found that, so right now, the only other toggles we should have on are for 2143 and 2136. So I can quickly go down this list, turn those toggles off. And now, like I said earlier, if you have a longer list, um, this is also a great purpose or place, I'm sorry, to turn the toggles back on for uh, your rental properties. Since I currently only have a couple, um, I'm not gonna go through this whole list just to find those few. So I'm gonna go ahead and save now that I've turned those off. 
Okay. And now my active renters have been updated. So um, I did forget to point out here. So we have this act, this is the active lease um, custom report. Now you can duplicate, just follow this exact um, report, create another one. And rather than it saying greater than or equal to, you'll have it um, less than. And then that will be your expired lease report. And if you do need any additional help or have questions on custom reports, I know they can be a little bit more in depth. Feel free to reach out to your customer success rep um, and they'll help you with that.